Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe so that every time we come out with new Winkle videos, you can be the first to know. Also, check out down below, we have freebies and a website for thewinkle.com where you can get STEM products delivered to your door every month. We're with the Winkle, and today we're making a... A fire swing! Juliet, you love swinging, right? Yeah. You love going out on the swing set and going higher yeah. and higher? Oh. What if you were swinging and there was fire underneath you? Oh. So that's what we're making today. We're going to be making a person that's hanging from a swing, and then with magnets, it's trying to repel itself away from the fire. Should we see what's in our kit today? Yeah. Okay. A wooden dowel. A orange circle, glue dots, pipe cleaner, a pool noodle piece, yarn, crepe paper, googly eyes, and magnets. This looks like so much fun, Juliet. Uh -huh. On top of everything in your kit today, you will need a pointy pencil, because we're going to be poking a little hole in our box. You'll need some scissors. And for this project today, you will need your Winkle box. If you don't have your Winkle box, that's no problem. You can use any box or shoe box that you have at home. Once you have all that, let's get started. Julia, all magnets have a north and south pole. Opposite poles are attracted to each other, like this, while the same poles repel each other, like this. Oh, can you feel that? They don't want to touch each other. That's called repel, okay? So a north and a north pole are not going to want to match up together a north and a south pole are going to want to match up together. Yeah, exactly. Can you feel the energy in there? Yeah. Yeah, they don't want to that... touch each other. And that energy is exactly what we'll be using today to make our fire swing person. We're going to start today by cutting out our circle from the orange paper. So get your scissors and cut right around that dotted line. Juliet, you might be surprised about how many things have magnets or use magnetism to make them work. Do you know our refrigerator door has a magnet that keeps no. it shut? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and it, it has like a magnet on it, on top of it, Yes. to make magnets stick to it. That's right, it sure does, so we can put up your pretty pictures that you draw for Yeah. Them. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and make our fire because our magnet person that's on the swing, he's going to be trying to avoid the fire. So we're going to make this like a little fire pit right here. We're going to use our glue dots. If you don't like using glue dots, you can definitely use just white glue at home. Or glue. Or a glue stick, yeah. Yeah. To use a glue dot, you peel off the plastic away from the paper and you rub the glue dot onto the paper. And see, I'm just slowly, I'm trying not to touch the glue dot and I'm slowly peeling back the plastic. If you touch the glue dot too much, the oil from your finger will get on the glue dot and make it not sticky. We're gonna make a triangle like this since there are three magnets going in our fire pit. We're going to have three glue dots. Good, and we're gonna just put them in a triangle pattern. See this? One, two, three, like this. And they're going to kind of be on the perimeter, that means on the outside of your circle. Okay, so we have a triangle uh, of glue dots that are kind of on the perimeter of our circle. You don't want them too far on the outside, but you don't want them all clustered in on the inside either. Oh, there you I go. actually did it. Try not to touch it, don't touch it. Good, if the glue dots are too hard or too tricky for you to work with, or you mess some of them up too much, you can always just use a glue stick or white glue if you need to glue your stuff down. Okay, now we have to figure out which side of the magnet we'll be putting on the paper. It has to, remember, the magnets have to repel. So put your magnets together. If they don't want to go together, that's the side that's gonna be facing up. If they do wanna to go together, then that's wrong. You need to flip it, one of them over. See how they don't wanna to touch each other? Yeah. That's the part that you want showing, right there. So the parts that don't want to touch each other, that's the part that you're going to have showing. The other side is going to be on the glue dot. Let's try again. Oh, nope, that's the wrong side. That's the wrong pole. We need it to be the pole that repels, okay? So as long as it repels, 
the repelling side is going to be facing up. I did it. Okay, try if it wants to go to that pole. That wants to go to the pole. So you have to do the other side that wants to repel. Does this side want to repel? Yes, so that's going to be facing up. Okay. The repelling side is facing up. Because now you have an extra magnet, this magnet is going to be on the bottom of our fire swing, and you want to make sure it's going to repel from all those magnets. Okay, now that we have our magnets on our fire pit, now we can build our fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the fire can be on the outside of your magnets or on the inside part. It's really up to you. Wherever you want to put your fire is fine. You just don't want your fire to cover up your magnets because if it covers up your magnets, it's going to lessen the power of the magnetic pole. So you can put like two pieces of crepe paper on one blue dot if you want, or just one piece. So what do I do right here? I did it! Good job! Look at you. I almost touched it, but I did it. Good, and now you can put some crepe paper on it. We're gonna put three glue dots on our fire pit. So good, it looks like a fire pit. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's set your fire pit aside and we're going to make your swinging person. Okay, you wanna open up your winkle box and let the flap kind of support the um, box. So if you open up that box, it gives some support so the box doesn't fall over. You're going to poke your hole pretty close to the top, maybe like an inch down, and you're going to jiggle your pencil through there. Don't put your finger on the other side or your hand because you don't want to poke it. And then you're just going to poke the hole a little way. I didn't go all the way through with my pencil because now I'm going to take my dowel and you want it to barely squeeze through there. So if it's gonna, you want it to be a tight fit. So that's not quite big enough. I'll make it a little bigger with my pencil. And now my dowel fits in there perfectly, but you know what? It's gonna kind of fall like that. So I might need to make another hole, which is totally fine. If any time in the winkle you make a mistake, you can always redo it and try again. And that's okay. Mistakes are very common when you're doing any sort of science or math or coding a computer or even doing art. You're gonna have lots of mistakes and that's okay. So I'm, whoa, there it went. Mistakes are fine. That's right. They help you learn. That's right, how are we gonna learn if we don't make mistakes? So now I have my dowel in my second hole and now it's not gonna droop as much. See this first hole was too big and my dowel was just like falling over. The second hole is much better, it's much tighter. Okay, put your box and your fire pit aside and now we're going to make our person that's on the swing, trying to get away from the fire. I love googly eyes because they make everything come to life, they're so fun. So this person's gonna have two googly eyes and like I said, if it's easier for you to use the glue dot, then use the glue dot. If you'd rather use a glue stick or white glue, you can use that if you have that at home. All right, I put the glue dot on and then I put my finger here. Look, Juliet, I'm putting my finger just a little bit on the glue dot and peeling the rest of it up like this. Okay, good. Now we can put on our googly eyes. Okay, so for the arms of your person, we are going to divide your pipe cleaner into thirds. The way you're gonna do that is you're gonna fold your pipe cleaner three ways like an S or a Z, just about like that. Oh, that's good, Juliet. Now you're gonna give a little trim to both of those curvy parts of your S, and now you have three pieces. Okay, now we're going to stick the pipe cleaner into the side and the middle of your pool noodle piece on both sides. And you wanna give him some elbows or her, some elbows. Okay, so we have the arms of our pool noodle person and then we're going to cut some legs. You only need about two inches of pipe cleaner. If you wanna make sure the legs are even, you can line up that first leg and cut it again. Now when you're cutting 
pipe cleaner with your scissors, you wanna use the back of your scissors. The front of your scissors won't be strong enough usually to cut that wire, but the back of your scissors will be strong enough. Okay, we're gonna stick our legs not at the bottom. If you stick them at the bottom, that's where our magnet's gonna go. So they have to be sticking kind of out on the side like this and bend up like a foot, like that. See, so I'm sticking it kind of in the side right underneath the arm and I'm bending up a little piece to look like a foot. That's really good, Juliet. Now with any pipe cleaner pieces you have left, you can go ahead and make some hair if you want. And if you want it to be squiggly hair, you can do that or you can have it be straight hair. You could design a mohawk, whatever you wanna do. It's your imagination and it's your project. And I think I it's really it. fun when everybody's project turns out a little bit different, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm doing mine a bun. Oh, a bun. Oh, it's like a, like a ballerina? Yeah. Cool. Okay, good. We have our person all set up with the legs, the long arms, and the hair. Yep. I like your hairstyle. That's really cute. <laughs> For this next part, you'll need your yarn, and it's just in a little knot, so just pull that knot apart like this and straighten the yarn out like this. Okay. You're going to kind of stretch up your hands, and we're going to lay that yarn across where the hands would hold onto the yarn. Good, and then you're going to curl the pipe cleaner around that yarn, just like if you're grabbing onto a rope or something. So think about your hand grabbing onto something. That's what your pipe cleaner is gonna be doing. It's gonna be grabbing onto that yarn. And you want it to be even, so you don't want one arm to be way up here and then the other arm to be down there. You want them to try and be as even as possible. So see that, how it's pretty evenly balanced? That's exactly what you're looking for. Julia, is yours even? No. Yes, it is. Oh. It looks really good, actually. Yeah. Oh, I think even. you just need to bend your arms back a little bit. If your arms are too far forward, then your whole person is gonna be a little too far forward. We bent her arms back. Now we're gonna put a, our remaining magnet on the bottom of the person that we just made. So you need your glue dot, one last glue dot, or glue if that's what you're working with. Hold the glue dot down with your thumb and pull up that plastic. And then before you go and put your magnet on, figure out which pole of your magnet repels from your fire pit, okay? If the one attracts, you don't want that one. You want the one that repels, yes. And you wanna make sure that repelling part is the part that's showing. So the part that attracts, the pole that attracts, is gonna go on your pool noodle, and the part that repels is gonna be showing on the bottom. Okay, Julia, we're so close to being done. I'm so excited yep. about this. Okay. Now, we're going to put our fire pit out here, and we have our pole already sticking out. Yeah. So we're gonna put him on the little swing. Make sure it's nice and even on the but yarn. But we can draw the background something. Oh my gosh, that's such a great idea. You could totally draw a picture on your background. I love that idea. You're so creative, Juliet. This is probably the hardest part of this whole project because you wanna make sure he's close enough to the fire that he will be repelled, but far enough away that he's not gonna burn his bum. Okay, so I'm tying a knot in my yarn right here, and then I'm going to make sure it's at the right level, which it is, and then I'm going to tie it again. So I make a circle with my yarn. See, I cr crisscross it, make a circle, and then I tuck this piece into that circle and then tighten it up. And then, if I decide, oh, that's not quite working, I want to undo my yarn and adjust it, you can do that as many times as you want until you get it to a spot that's working. So fun. Okay, so let's see. Our, our person that's on the swing is trying to repel it away from the magnets. And that is so fun. There's just all that energy going on there. Let's see yours. Yes, so good. Every once in a while, you can just give him a little push and he'll get activated again. Now, or she. if, or she, yes. Even when you go to recycle, like all our metal and our cans, there's a giant magnet that'll come and collect all of the metal. So it's 
a magnet that sorts out our garbage. Isn't that so cool? Whoa. Yeah, so magnets are super helpful. And also, they're super fun, don't you think? Yeah. Did you have so much fun making our fire swing today? So good. Good, thanks so much for joining me. Thanks everybody for joining us. I would love to see what you made. If you have a grown up take a picture or video of you with your project, they can put it on social media and tag us at the Winkle Crate. That way we can see what you did and how it turned out. Thanks for joining us today, everybody. Bye. Bye. And I didn't even know I'd do great. <laughs> you did great. Yeah. The Winkles are so fun. And I really love Mommy doing the Winkle. Let me. Let me too.